Prophet Muhammad, Ibn Abdul Baraver, as they say, peace be upon him. He stood up praying so much his feet swelled up. If you read Washington Irving's book, uh, Muhammad the Prophet, his feet swelled up. Um, um, Washington Irving is a, a great author who wrote books like Ichabod Crane uh, in the 1800s. Uh, that book, I can't, it's called The Life of Muhammad by Washington Irving. I've had that book for several years and I can't finish it without crying. I mean, crying. The, the type of crying that you can't catch your breath. Because this brother went through so much, man. Went through so much. As most prophets do. The misconception of what this movement is dedicated to. The misconception of, of why they're even here. To help us find our way back to the path of light. But uh, prayer is a, a personal thing. It should be which eat with each human being, whether you're standing, sitting, or bowing. It should be a personal thing. Some of us don't have feet to stand. Some of us don't have legs. Some of us were born that way. Some of us were amputees. But whenever you can remember your Lord Allah Almighty in any kind of way, in prayer and meditation, we are obligated to do so. That's why the bird sings in the morning its prayer to Allah, and the bee is sheltering comb. Its significance in saying, Allah Almighty, we love you, and we in unison with you in every step of the way. So man gives his heart to Allah Almighty in prayer. But we have a ritual that our Prophet has given to us where we stand on seven and square off square off not forward like you're gonna fall but straight up and we pray and they say 45 degree angles i have never read that anywhere but if it's 45 your feet are 45 degree angles so what and if you don't have feet so what what if you only have one arm and you can only hold up five or what if you only have this hand? I remember a sister who, uh, years ago in 1982, I think it was, we were at the park at a picnic. It was, more, it was Marcus Garvey's Day celebration at a picnic, and all of the cultural groups and groups came from everywhere. And so my wife and my children and other wives were on the blanket. Uh, and then we had, you know, whatever lunch they brought, they brought. And uh, one brother came by, he says, oh, Islam, everybody. And it was one sister, it was a very charming sister, very nice. She had a turban on. And she raised up her left hand. She said, Islam, brother. And he says, look at this sister. Give me her left hand. What's wrong with her? And everybody turned and looked at him and said, and she dropped her head. She said, brother, I only have a left hand. And she raised her right hand up, it was enough. She, was, she had an accident as a child and she had no hand, just enough. Stories like that bring out your compassion as a human being. So, Brother Ibrahim Wabe says, to you and to the world. Whether you stand on a square, and you do seven, if you have seven, or whether you sit down, or whether you lay down, whatever you do, remember your Lord of Almighty in prayer. Every day, once a day, five times a day, 10 times a day, 100 times a day. Establish yourself daily prayer every day. Allah remembers those who remember Him. Remember your Lord and Almighty. Islam.